Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's moon. Don't let the Archangel Uriel and Flight Boss here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now we're gonna talk about uh, cause I got a lot of questions on this too, on this too though. But um, sh uh, shouts out, shouts out to uh Guru Jojo, um, um on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? She got them bracelets. She's a common day witch. You know what I'm saying? And a witch ain't what you ain't what you think it is. Witch and witchcraft ain't what y'all think it is. I'm gonna do a video on that too. You know what I'm saying? So go support. She got your uh, spiritual jewelry, your bracelets and shit. You know what I'm saying? You go get beamed up. You can go get energized and things of that nature. And she can run that all down for you. But she uh, she sparked me to do this video because um, a lot of people for the past couple uh, weeks been asking me to do this. And um, I don't even know why. So, uh, yeah, shout, shout out y'all too. Also, now, the 29 degrees of a sign. Now, it's perceived by a lot of astrologers to be... Uh, to be perceived as ne negative, to be perceived as critical, and a lot of times um, also involving the zero degrees of a sign. Now, what you need to understand is, don't, now, there's truth in everything, but don't get overly excessive into the wording, like, because it's not critical. Now, I can speak on this. I have 29 degrees Mars. So, off the bat, I can tell you the problems and issues, and it, it's not a critical thing. And me sitting back and observing and seeing what a 29 degrees actually consists of, or z or zero degrees, the actual would actually consist of, actually has nothing to do with a planet getting old. Actually has nothing to do with because what a planet gonna be birthed again in another sign? No, it actually has nothing to do with a um, a planet in a in a situation where it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to do things that it needs to do. This is what's actually going on, and this is what I feel. Every time I jump into my, my Mars energy. Now, my Mars is 29 degrees Capricorn. So, um, this is how I feel. And this is this is what it is. It's confliction between two elements. Now, the, the confliction between two elements leads to confusion. So, like, at times, my Mars is in, my Mars, Mars represents intention. Intent, intentions, willpower, passions, motivations, and desires. So, anytime I'm diving in my goals... Anytime I'm diving in to do something that I desire, anytime I'm diving into my passions, I get conflicted because so I, it's like a confusion. Sometimes I don't know how to go about it. Sometimes I don't know, do I do I need to think? Do I need to socialize? Do I need to organize? Do I need to create an organization around, around what I'm doing? AKA, that's the Aquarius talking. Then Capricorn comes in and be like, uh, wait. Maybe you need to do this yourself. Just come up with a, a practical scheme that you can do. Something that makes sense for you. For your idea. So you don't have to place nobody else. For nobody else could claim responsible for whatever access you get. In. You need to construct this yourself. And maybe you need to utilize the material things you have around you. And if you have to utilize a person. If. That's when it comes to a conclusion. So now. I, I get conflicted by cardinal earth and mutable uh, and fixed air. See, cardinal earth is initiating and creating new ways of how to think and be practical, which ultimately ultimately is uh, common sense. That's Capricorn. Aquarius is fixed air, being fixated on its own way of thinking and communicating. So a lot of times I could be stubborn in my way of thinking and in my way of communicating, which in the middle of that, I may develop my own unique way of communicating, my own original way of communicating and thinking but at the same time it's going to involve with things of rebelling against things and opposing against things and try, try to change things so both of these energies is, is going crazy within my mars and my mars is my intentions my willpowers my passions what i desire to do so that's that's why it can be seen as kind of confusion i don't really want to use the word critical let's just say confusion you see what i'm saying because you, a lot of times but when you balance it out, it's actually great. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm able to th sit back and be like, all right, wait. Let me let me sit back and make sense out of something that I could do practically. I don't have to put my responsibilities on someone else. Let me see what I can practically do that work that what works, right? And let me make sure it involves with something that got something to do with technology or information or organizing in some type of way and things of that nature. See, and that's like bringing it together. So that's like... That's almost like um, enterprising. You know what I'm saying? So this is an enterprising sign, 
right here. If a, a person with a zero, a zero degrees Aquarius or 29 degrees Capricorn in any planet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with, with that planet being in any sign at zero or tw uh, at zero degrees Aquarius or 29 degrees Capricorn, that's a very enterprising energy right there. But you see, that's how it could, that's, that's where astrologers may misconfuse things with saying it's critical, but it's not, I don't want to really use the word critical. I would rather use the word, uh, confusion. Sometimes you're confused on which route to take. And it, that is not just 29 and zero, de, uh, zero degrees. Now it could play out the most harshly with those, but a 28 degree of a sign will feel these effects. And the one and two degree of a sign will feel these effects, but just mainly the zero and the, and the uh and the twenty nine degrees. But you know what I'm saying? It's still like a it's still like a balance because to be a cusp has to be a five degree orb. So a five degree orb, you have zero, you have one, two, twenty nine, twenty eight. That five degree space, that five degree orb. If you land on any one of those degrees, you become a cusp. Now it's like a balance scale. So with the 29 to 28 degrees of a sign, you, your planet is going to play out the character, the character traits of that sign, but being backed and supported by the, the sign that's coming next. So you're still, you're still a cusp. It's like, is this what people may see first? For, for an example, um, say you are, um, um, a, a, a 29 or a 28 degree, um, uh, Libra, right? Now, what people and how you're going to feel first is people may pick up from you first is being social, being communicative, uh, uh, being relatable. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like socializing. But that's being back to supported by intenseness. You kind of aggressive with it. You see what I'm saying? You kind of uh, you kind of you kind of more selfish with your relativeness. You relating to others for like a selfish desire or I don't want to say selfish, but maybe something that you passionately want to do, something that you desire. So you may socialize and put yourself out there to relate to people in that matter. So that's where the Scorpio energy will back and support you. Now, say if you was a one degree Scorpio or a two degree, a one or two degree Scorpio, right? You won't be as 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 talkative as that 29 or 28 degrees Libra, but y'all both share the same qualities, but it, it'll just play out on a balanced scale of Scorpio, but be it back supported by Libra. So you'll be more reserved, more uh, more secretive, more reserved, more passionate, more more about your desires. And then, and then you only see fit the time to be relatable or the time to be sociable and communicative when it, when it's time for you to do something that you desire or when it's time, when it's time for you to do something that you want to transform in your life or when it's time for you to do something that you aggressively want to go into or, or, or something or your intentions or if you have an alternative motive about something, uh, right? Then your, your go-to plan is to, com to communicate and socialize about it. So now you, so now once you see somebody into the same thing you into, you can talk all day about it. So you see how you're doing the same thing, just in, in, on the flip side. You see what I'm saying? Just on the flip side. And if you was the, if you was a zero degree Scorpio, you would do a natural blend of this Libra and Scorpio. But it doesn't matter from the 29 to 28 degrees Libra to the zero and one and two degree Scorpio. That's a cusp. Y'all all carry the same energies. It's just the way y'all carry it out. The degree is very peculiar. You see what I'm saying? So um. All those is really critical, but the reason why they want to say the zero and the 29 degrees is so critical is because that's when a planet is leaving a sign, and then that's when a, a planet is freshly in a sign. So z zero degrees is freshly in a sign. 29 degrees is freshly le is, is exiting a sign. So that's why they want to say just those cusp is the most critical because uh, is this the most? It's just when the most confusion going on. I don't like to say critical. It's just when the most confusion going on to the point that, like, like, like I was saying, back to the 29, 28 degree Libra, like they won't be confused on to socialize first, then, then get reserved and and think about the alternative motive with the person they was just socializing with. You know what I'm saying? The one and two degree Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? It won't really be a. It won't. It won't really be a confusion. To and I meant to say 28 degrees Libra, but the 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 one and the two degree Scorpio, it won't really be a confusion to be reserved first and analyze a person's actions or alternative mo motive first before socializing and communicating with this person first. Now the zero, mostly 
and the 29 degrees, which I ain't mean to say the first time. I meant to say just the 28 degrees, Libra. But the, the 29 and the 0 degrees is the when the most confusion going on. It's like if you was that Libra Scorpio cusp at a 29, 28 degrees, sometimes you're thrown off. You don't know whether to observe, observe a person first, alternative motives, and then communicate, or or communicate and socialize and be open, then look at the alternative motives based upon they say. This, you, you'll get confused, and you'll find yourself, put yourself in a lot of circumstances and situations that force you to find out. Like, you'll put yourself in a situation where you overlook a person's alternative motive, and now you put yourself in a relationship you shouldn't have. Or you'll put yourself in a situation where, where... You over socialized with a person too fast, and now this person was able to manipulate you in some way. You know what I'm saying? With their alternative motives. So you would you would experience that a lot faster than a 28 degrees Libra or a one and two degrees Scorpio. But y'all all be experiencing the same shit. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's how you look at the uh, 29 degrees of each planet. And I don't like to say critical. I just like to say that that's a ram of confusion. Because two, you're, you're, the planet is stuck between two elements and two modalities. So it's, it's stuck between two ways of looking at things. But it's, 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 yeah, it's just stuck at two ways of, of looking at of looking at of ways and things of that nature. Flight boss, bitch, goddamn air.